So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Geometry Dash. So in the last episode guys, we discovered the Crystal Gauntlet and my gosh, that thing is the essence of beauty. Allow me to try and demonstrate how beautiful this place is. You see my chiseled jawline and my beautifully spaced eyes and my perfect nose. Oh yeah, I'm the example of this Crystal Gauntlet. Problem is now, people are thinking it's the ugliest gauntlet that was ever made. Yeah, that example did not work. Welcome back though anyway guys to Geometry Dash. So within this video, we are going to be continuing our journey through the Crystal Gauntlet and admiring all of the beautiful stuff which we still haven't seen. We got three levels done in the last video with one of the levels coming from another gauntlet. Now we've got to do the last three and I'm hoping we can maybe get them done for just this video. I don't know how difficult it's going to get though guys. It's probably going to get absolutely ridiculous. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is admire these daily chests because I mean, best part of the episode. Mm, one... One freaking diamond. Are you kidding? Come on. Give me something good. Okay, that was like two, I think. Actually six. And we got another shot. Can't argue with that. All right then, guys. So the crystal gauntlet, we managed to do a lot straight, then crystal fusion. Now we have sanctuary of light, okay? And the name, I mean, it's perfect for the level. I don't want to be around the bush for this intro, guys. I want to get straight into this one. We got to experience this gorgeous level. And oh my God. Like, you guys probably don't see it, but the screen tearing... Oh my god. We are just going to ignore all screen tearing aside though. We're going to enjoy this level. So as you can see guys, tranquility is, I mean, just standard for this place. Absolutely gorgeous, some might say. And you know what? Those people who say that, they're freaking right, dude. How far did we actually manage to get through this in the last episode? It was around here somewhere. Oh, I think we died. Was it here? I mean, I don't know, but I'm freaking killing it. First try, are we about to 100% this junk? Okay, this is very confusing. I can't see. All right. I can't see. First run, guys. I mean, I can't brush that off as bad at all. So we go down, then we go. Ah, now I'm seeing that path. Okay, short UFO. No. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what the frick? <laughs> Killing it, dude. What'd I just do? Like, no questions. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Killing this. I said before, little jump. One more. Ooh. Not even making sense with my dialogue. I don't care, dude. I'm inventing my own freaking language by this point. Drift up like. <laughs> The thing about this level is that it is so gorgeous that you get distracted by the beautiful stuff going on. You gotta focus on what the level is doing because, I mean, if you focus on the beauty just one second too long, it's actually a trick, guys, and I tell you what, they make sure you know that. All this gorgeous stuff around here is a mirage, okay? Ultimately, it means just death. Just like that, okay? I need to learn this, so... Why that face plant there? I think what I gotta do is because you get shot down so quick, you gotta tap that button so fast after. You gotta tap that button like you tap the boot. There we go. Yeah, you gotta tap it real quick. Okay, so I know now how to do that part. I would say fairly successfully. This killed me last time. We drift down. Nice little hop. Little hop again and hop up here. Then there's a running dude again. Gotta see that. Okay, bounce off there. Go through here. Land there. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness me. I barely... Oh my goodness me, and yeah, ah, ah. So as time goes on, I realize that this level is, um, it's actually kind of tricky. <sighs> like, you know, when you're drifting forward, you know you're about to die, but there's nothing you can do to prevent it. Oh my goodness, finally I'm back here, dude. Uh, screen is tearing like crazy. I'm gonna see if I can work with this though, guys. It's all we can do. Woo! All right, now we're making that progress. Oh my goodness me. This is crazy. I don't actually know what's coming. All I had to do was press the freaking button. And I didn't. The pressure, dude, it still builds. Like, doesn't matter how much you practice these levels, they will always catch you off guard when you least expect it. And I mean, set an example, why don't you? I'm gonna be honest, guys. Today, I feel like my G-Dash game is slightly slipping, but I'm gonna work with it and say to myself, like, yes, you can improve this and change it to a good G-Dash day. I mean, watch this freaking junk. Look at that, you see? Then we just wanna bounce. Look at this, look. I mean, I told you. I told you. Just a bit of confidence in yourself goes a long way. Uh, about that confidence thing, um... Let me just come back to you on that one. It's this part every time, dude. There's always one certain bit which gets me. I think it's coming up real soon. This part used to get me right here, then it's here. So, <gasps> bro, what the freak? So you can hit that too early? That's interesting how you can actually hit that too early and go straight into the spike. That kind of means that even under pressure, you've got to try and remain calm. There we go. I waited just a bit. I mean, I've done that before. So here we go. Screen tearing. Do not start now, okay? I made it this far. Like, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay. I got to focus just a tiny little bit more, guys. Ooh, that spike nearly killed me. So we go up. That's where I died last time. I think I roughly remember this. Okay, we got to go up. Got to go up. All right. Then we go down. We dodge this one here. Then wait for it. Wait for it. We go up like... I, I don't have anything to say right now. It's good, man. It's good. I mean, I'm not going insane or anything. I mean, 
I'm good. I I'm just loving. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. I've been playing for like 45 minutes. This is such a bad G-dash day. I'm really trying. I don't know what it is. It just seems like these levels are really insanely difficult. I can't figure out why because I've beat demons like, you know? It shouldn't be this hard. I just can't get around some of these obstacles. Again, literally the same spot the next run. Finally, okay, guys, this is the run after. So I just got to make it through this. I'm like calling my death before, dude. This is a bad G-dash day. I'm like predicting my death and almost rolling with it. I'm going to use this as a documentary for a bad G-dash day and the fact that everyone can have them. So look, we got to go up right here. Then we go down. Just avoid that one there. Then we got to go up like so. Then we drop down and then in to the laser. I remembered that and I am so glad I did. Oh, wow. I'm still gonna clap. I'm glad I continued despite all of this. There were times, okay, where I seriously felt like, no, I cannot do this today, but you just stay determined. This is the result, level complete. We freaking did it. I just wanna let you guys know something, okay? Because I mean, it feels so relevant. Everyone has a bad day. Doesn't matter what you're doing, what kind of art you're trying to perfect, if any at all, or if you're not doing anything, you can still always have your bad days apart from your good, guys. It's a way of knowing what a good day feels like, so you should never beat yourself down when you just have a bad day. Take it off, relax, chill, and don't feel guilty for doing that. You know what? I'm not doing this. <laughs> See you guys. Bad days are all part of the brain's chemistry, and it's just something that happens to everyone always. You can never avoid it, so don't beat yourself down if you're currently there, okay? Just accept it. Now, watch me screw my freaking guts out with this next level. <laughs> Marine is the fourth level in this gauntlet. Let's just check this one out. It is a harder. Whoa. Oh my goodness, bro. The freaking screen tearing. Lag fix? Uh, my dude, I'm good. Thank you. So we hop over there, then there. Whoa, there is a lot going on here. I think this level is going to be a lot of fun though. So we hop there. Whoa. So we jump here, here. Then we go for like a bouncing stage. We're a running dude. I mean, I can accept. Shunna jump, shunna jump, shunna jump. So this is what comes after. That's into a flying. My, my, my goodness me, I mean, freaking heck, dude, what am I feeling right now? All sorts of euphoria, this is making this bad day good. It was, well, it was until, you know, my mine car hit me. Now, now I feel bad again. There we go, hover nice and close up. Then we flip, what the freak, okay, this is cool. Oh, look at the lights. This is freaking beautiful, guys. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, am I about to first freaking attempt this jungle? Hold the freak up a sec. Oh no, not my arch enemy. Not my arch en- My arch enemy. Okay, okay, we're doing better this time. Oh my goodness me! Okay, this is doable. This- Well, of course it is. I know, when I get hyped, I make stupid freaking stay- <laughs> This is doable! Yeah, good job. Nice analysis there. I feel like maybe I should've went into practice mode right now, but nah, dude, nah. I wanna try and do this. Come on. Here we go! Yes! Oh my goodness, dude. I'm actually doing- I didn't see that. I didn't, I didn't see that. I, I didn't choose to see that. I think that was my problem. So at that point there, I just wait. I don't jump upside down like I did. I hit that bounce pad. So that's kind of like an auto until you reach the uh, yellow pad section. That's what I need to remember. Not everything needs to be jumped to. Sometimes the reach is right in front of you. And I mean, can this song stop turning this into a motivational speech already? I feel like, look, let me try this. Hang on. If I take a trip to the bathroom and someone's already in there. I mean, I'll just poop right at the door. I mean, it still sounds like a motivational speech. All right, guys, now we're gonna try something stupid here. This whole run, motivational, okay? No cuts, nothing, okay, cut. This is the story about a boy. Went to the shop, wanted that one chocolate bar, but there was a big catch, guys, and do you know what it was? There was only one left. Oh. One left, and he saw a nice looking female who he had fancied for a long, long time. He said to that girl, hey girl, you gonna get that? And she said, yeah, it's in my hand. I mean, dingus, come on, that's why it's there. She said, wait, you wanna share this with me? And he was like, yeah, yeah, of course. And she didn't realize, but he had a big thing for her, guys. And I'm telling you, like this dude was pro probably obsessed by all means. She should have called the police, okay? <laughs> Back to this chocolate bar, guys. She shared it with him and it was a good day. It was a good day indeed for that boy until he realized one fatal mistake. In eating that chocolate bar, he was allergic to chocolate, man. He got food poisoning. I mean, he's dead now. Oh, you waiting for more of this? Guys, that's it. But we shouldn't have eaten the chocolate. I mean, it was his fault, stupid dingus. I want to read some reviews about that story uh, down below, okay? I'm going to look and I'm going to really enjoy reading them. So thanks for all those submitting them. Here we go. This is the next section of the level. Whoa, there was something up there. I'm just focusing on what is dead straight. Whoa. 
Oh my god! No! I did not see that coming. I had no idea. I assumed because that was purple, that was trying to tell me we was gonna start flying. Nope. If it's purple and rippled, I think that means just shrink. Though, quote me if I'm wrong. Wait, 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 hold up. There's like rings around the flying thing, I think. Like still, I'm learning so much still, guys. You don't even know. This is a little guy. A little bit quicker. Okay. Whoa! My gosh, man, it's off screen. Like, oh, it's just frustrating on a first attempt. How are you supposed to know what to do? Just gotta remember, guys, it is a bad day for me, okay? I mean, I was struggling before, so I'm gonna roll with these punches, man. We're gonna come out on top for today. We're gonna beat this level before anything else, guys. I will not stop until. Here we go, come on. Please let this be it. Oh, yes! Yes! I'm glad I carried on, man. I mean, thank you. That why the freak you're like it's a bad day, I can't help it. Final level then guys is called Crystal Essence. Now I know we're not gonna beat this one though. I just wanna see what this is all about. Here we go. Uh what the freak is and we're done. So yeah. I gotta just say, today was a pretty bad day. Coordination was off, things just didn't feel right, but hey, you gotta roll with the punches, man. I accepted that and I worked with exactly what my body was allowing me to do. I mean, we still managed to get two out of three of the levels done and I think this aligns super nicely for the next episode, which I think I'm gonna do the final level for the gauntlet, then we're gonna do the rest of the video with strictly your guys' fan level, so keep them coming. I'm looking forward to playing them for the next episode. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here but on good days so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one and even the outro nearly didn't come out there <laughs>